Solid-state batteries have become a hot topic in the electric vehicle EV industry, with experts like Sandy Monroe highlighting their potential to redefine the market. Numerous battery companies have made significant strides, unveiling prototypes and accelerating research in this cutting-edge technology. With Tesla gearing up to launch a new fleet of vehicles in 2025, many speculate that the company is preparing to integrate solid-state batteries into its models. How do industry leaders view this advancement, and what could it mean for Tesla's future performance compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries? Let's dive deeper. Sandy Monroe, known for his direct and often controversial insights into automotive engineering, has a strong reputation in the industry. Nicknamed the Teardown Titan, Monroe has been both a critic and a supporter of Tesla, initially pointing out flaws in early models but later praising innovations like the Giga casting process. His endorsement of Tesla's 4,680 battery cells as the best lithium-ion option available is noteworthy. However, at the 2023 SAE World Congress, Monroe shifted his focus, calling solid-state batteries the kiss of death for gasoline and diesel vehicles. Tesla's 4680 cells, developed using technology acquired for a mere $3 from spring power, have set a high benchmark. These cells offer six times the power, five times the energy, and a 16% increase in range over the older 2,170 cells, all while reducing the manufacturing footprint by two-thirds. Despite these improvements, they still rely on liquid electrolytes, keeping them within the realm of lithium-ion technology rather than solid-state. Monroe points out that solid-state batteries, already used in limited heavy-duty applications like buses, are evolving rapidly. Companies like QuantumScape claim energy densities of up to 400 watt-hours per kilogram, while Solid Energy Systems is developing lithium metal batteries with lightweight titanium anodes. Saku has even showcased a 3D printing method for battery production. Monroe acknowledges that while production methods remain challenging, comparing the process to taping potato chips together, the benefits are clear. Faster charging, enhanced safety, and up to eight times the energy density of traditional lithium-ion cells, all without hazardous materials. Monroe predicts that when solid-state batteries reach mass production, internal combustion engines will become obsolete. He states, there will be no comparison between today's technology and any petroleum-based alternative. Solid-state batteries will end gasoline and diesel. Sherry, a Chinese battery company, recently announced plans to open the world's first gigawatt-hour scale solid-state battery production facility in Wuhu, Anhui province. The plant will include a 5GWH research and development center and a high-tech production line. With equipment already arriving, Sherry is moving quickly toward production. The initial 1.25 GWH line is being hailed as the first globally at this scale. Gao Lisin, Sherry's general manager, highlights the advantages of their solid-state batteries, including superior safety, environmental benefits, and higher energy density. The first-generation batteries are expected to surpass 280 WH-kg by 2025, with second- and third-generation models targeting 400 WH-kg and 500 WH-kg by 2027. Their streamlined production process reduces steps from 11 to 5, cutting fixed investment by 30% and energy consumption by 20%. This bold initiative positions Sherry ahead of competitors, attracting automakers like Toyota, Volkswagen, Hyundai, and Mercedes-Benz. Even established battery giants like CATL are vying for dominance in the sector. Tesla, always on the lookout for cutting-edge battery solutions, may find a strategic partner in Sherry. With Tesla's 2025 vehicle lineup in development, this partnership could provide the solid-state technology needed to maintain their market edge. Tesla's potential shift to solid-state batteries is not just technological. It also addresses growing consumer demand for larger, family-oriented EVs. Elon Musk recently responded to customer feedback on X, formerly Twitter, where users expressed frustration over the lack of larger Tesla models. One user shared that the Model X was not big enough for their family, prompting Musk to respond with a simple, OK, larger EVs are especially desirable in markets like Asia and the Middle East, where multi-generational households are common. Solid-state batteries, with higher energy densities, are ideal for meeting the range and performance needs of these bigger vehicles without increasing weight or size. Tesla's dedication to efficiency and sustainability aligns with the benefits of solid-state technology, offering safer, more environmentally friendly options. For many families, current EV models fall short. Extended families often require multiple vehicles for travel, making larger EVs essential. A hypothetical larger Tesla model, 
something between the Model X and the Robovan, could fill this gap. Such a vehicle would appeal to families worldwide, offering increased seating, longer range, and competitive pricing, thereby expanding Tesla's reach into the lucrative family market. Tesla's charging network has evolved dramatically since the first supercharger launched in 2012, delivering just 90 kilowatts. By 2023, the introduction of the V4 supercharger cabinets marked a significant leap, offering up to 500 kilowatts for cars and 1.2 megawatts for the Tesla Semi. These advancements cater to the future demands of solid-state batteries, which require higher voltages and faster charging rates. The V4 cabinets support voltages from 400 to 1,000 volts, making them compatible with Tesla's Cybertruck and future solid-state models. While current models can only charge up to 250 kilowatts, V4's forward compatibility ensures Tesla stays ahead in the EV market. Even non-Tesla EVs, such as the Porsche Taycan and Kia EV6, can benefit from this infrastructure. Tesla's V4 cabinets also integrate next-generation power electronics, offering triple the power density and reduced operational costs. Deployment plans are underway, with Europe likely to see the first V4 stations, followed by North America and Asia. With Tesla's solid-state equipped models set for 2025, this infrastructure will play a critical role in the company's future success. Will solid-state technology truly be the kiss of death for gasoline cars? How will this impact the broader EV experience? Share your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned for more updates on Tesla's innovations.